and I'm here at University Park Mall to ask people what they think the Canadian Shield is. I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, slightly awkward walking around the mall with a camera in my hand, but people are staring at me talking in front of a camera right now. It's kind of strange, but we'll see how it goes. What do you think the Canadian Shield is? I have no idea. Uh, I would think it would be a symbol of some kind, maybe okay. used on a flag. Okay. I know it has something to do with the land something, and I know it's up in Canada, a shield that divides the U.S. and Canada. My guess it would be a crest or something that's on the flag. <laughs> Is it some kind of weapon? I think it's maybe a law or something they're passing. Um, probably it has a maple leaf on it, is my biggest guess, because I know that's on the Canadian flag. A shield made Canada? Honestly, I have no idea what it means, so I'm just going off of the actual name of it to give you a description. I think Tony Stark made it, and it's an invisible shield. The Canadian Captain America made a shield. Okay, uh, that's my guess. But I feel really bad that I'm not 100% certain what the Canadian shield is. Why is the Canadian Shield called what it is? Well, for starters, that's just a nickname. It's also called the Laurentian Plateau, or as some French natives call it, the boot, the bow, the bew, whatever. The Canadian Shield got its name by being a Precambrian Shield that is mostly exposed in Canada. What's a Precambrian Shield, you ask? A Precambrian Shield is an area where erosion has taken place for millions or even billions of years and exposed Craton, the deepest and oldest area of a continental plate which name sounds a lot like an over-egotistic Greek god. So it's not actually a shield that protects Canadians from bullets like Captain Canadia would hold or something cool slash stupid like that. It's more like a big, old, gaping, fat hole in the ground that does absolutely nothing. Kind of like Justin Bieber's singing career. Alright, alright, I kid, I kid. Anyways, about this hole. It's actually rich in minerals that make you rich, such as nickel, silver, and gold. The shield rock itself is extremely exposed, with very little sedimentary rocks covering it, making it the perfect place to study rocks that are usually deep under the surface where we can't reach. It's like nature dug the hole for us. The Canadian Shield is mainly small hills and puddle-sized lakes due to the massive number of years Mr. Erosion over here has had his way with the land. As William C. Wonder states in the book Canada's Changing North, quote, The terrain is rocky and hilly, with numerous lakes. Structurally, the shield consists of a series of broad arches and basins, which once formed a more dramatic relief, but are now eroded and to a nearly level surface." Unquote. So let's do a quick recap, shall we? This is the Canadian Shield, which has many different names, just to confuse people like you. This is approximately how many years it would have took to create it. And this is Justin Bieber, I think. <laughs> 